here we are awesome hi everyone this is chicho welcome to our channel and welcome to another live stream today is april 26 the day after six and a half hour dj live set that we hosted on twitch and it was fantastic uh welcome to our channel and uh today's topic of discussion is personal finance i titled, titled it personal finance uh, defining work open discussion and this live stream came about uh, because of a request and a second on the request for us to do a live stream uh, let me read you what the first request was which was quote how to set work uh, towards our goals and career especially now that many of us are rethinking our work and what that means looks like okay and the second was basically quote we need a recentering of what the work refers to and what the scope of the work is and uh, my reply was uh, that sounds fantastic and the description i set up for this live stream i'm just going to give you this because uh, we're doing a live stream tomorrow as well on current events news politics economics and personal finance and stuff so they they're related but we sort of want to try to keep this one uh, a little bit more focused so when i set the schedule for this stream and i announced this on patreon uh we put it on our discord and stuff uh quote uh we've had a couple of requests to hold the live stream on how to work set towards our goals and career especially now that many of us are rethinking our work and what that means looks like end quote uh so let's uh end quote i was quoting the request i'm continuing to read the description of what I wrote, which is, so let's have an open discussion on defining work, rethinking, uh, recentering of what the work refers to and what the scope of the work is, end quote. And that's sort of taking chunks from each request. Uh, could have made that shorter, but uh, uh, hello everyone, how are you doing? Hello Catholic traditionists, good evening and good, good folks. I hope that you have, a blessed Sunday, you too, Catholic traditionalist. Sleepy waves, how's it going? Always be making hello, hello. And while uh, we wait until the announcements go out, I'm assuming the announcements are out, which is fantastic. Uh, until people to uh, roll in, Huckleberry, how are you doing? Hello, Chicho, hi, chat. How is everyone doing? Good. We had a nice dance session last night for six and a half hours, so it was good. Uh, it was a good Saturday evening right i think it was something that everybody needed and that's the setup that you see behind us that was uh the dj that we started uh, at our place and then we hosted three more djs so that was a lot of fun that was a lot of fun we'll talk more about that in the future okay martin you're here how are you doing <laughs> i'm focused <laughs> oh it's early evening for you that's good that's good man nice and for those uh, that are rolling in dance party uh still going with me nice absurdicon um we are uh active that's where i'm sharing a lot of information and uh, the goals that i've laid out for myself for this content that we're creating so patreon is where you want to be if you want to follow this work and if you want to support this work fantastic it's a great place to support this work okay uh we are live streaming this on twitch so if you want to watch these streams and get into the discussion that's going on on chat, uh, Twitch is where you want to be at. We do upload these to YouTube and BitChute uh, as much as we can. I do announce these live streams on Twitter, Gabs, Minds, VK, and Elo, and the links will be in the description of this video and on my site and Patreon page and everything. So everything's sort of being link linked up but decentralized from one specific platform because that's what we're working towards, right? We wanna make sure we become anti-fragile and this is part of the game, okay? Uh, I am right now uploading these to BitChute and YouTube. As much as I can to BitChute and YouTube, period. There's issues with both sites right now, one technical on BitChute front, one censorship on YouTube front. And I've put out a request for people to let me know what the third platform would be like. I want to make sure, uh, I think Silk, uh, uh, some 
uh, someone made a request I think it was always being making or suggestion mods thank you very much for taking care of business by the way um, but it has to be a platform where it's it doesn't have to be subscriber based right I can't put things behind the paywall right now as much as we can do we're going to try to make sure nothing's going behind paywalls if platforms start going all of them behind paywalls because that's where the economics takes things we have no choice we'll figure it out right i'll start uploading personal torrents on there right the way we've done for the language of mathematics one two three and four right um and most likely i'm going to start uploading just the audio on soundcloud because someone mentioned soundcloud would be a great way to you know listen to the these conversations and just follow some of the content coming out uh, and i've already uh paid for a one year i did this a few months ago one year soundcloud membership where i can upload and get onto the podcasting scene uh, i just haven't had the time to do it right so once we do i will announce this by the way welcome everyone to chat i'm just going through my little long-winded intro on things and the last thing of course uh, we are towards the tail end of a first wave of pandemic going through the world right now certain countries are opening up certain countries are still saying flatten the curve are still trying to do social distancing and stuff like this wherever you are be, just remember be kind uh, care for people realize that certain countries their systems are being overwhelmed or have been overwhelmed you don't want to be in one of those places so if you think if you're on a mindset and logically speaking there is something happening if you're on a main mindset that there's something happening and if you're in a part of the world that hasn't been hit by a wave hard wave coming in um don't risk everything assuming that that may not happen to you okay go slow mo that's the name of the game right now okay aside from that welcome everyone i'm gonna take these guys down and uh, catch up with chat and again this is an open discussion on sort of defining work which is what is our economic system based on what do you want to do in the world um, what uh, how you want to interact right how do you want to live your life uh, who are you uh, what do you want to put your main energy on uh, where do you want to put your savings into it it's huge this discussion is huge and it's not just about economics personal finance it's a way of life please keep that in mind way it personal finance is a way of life right it depends on where you are in your life where you are financially where you are in terms of your life cycle where you are intellectually through education through family like everything right heavy topic considering we just finished uh, uh, a few hours ago we just finished the six and a half hour live stream set right so i'm going to try to catch up a little bit uh pa, 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 and go speedy gonzalez through the um through the chat here i like the wooden art uh you got thanks sleepy waves i put out a video on this wooden art by the way if you do go to our art go chicho art paintings i don't know what i called it I show you guys these in ASMR format, uh, and another one. It was it was a triple set. Okay. Dance party still going on. What's up, Birdie? How are you doing? The announcement just went out. It just went out. Awesome. Hello, hello, Absurdicon. I've been listening to the house mixes all day while I study and write reports. Nice, Absurdicon. It was a fantastic DJ set, and from all indications, everybody's game to do more, and. This was a sampling of the DJs that we have in our area and the connections that are around. So we might do longer sets or just host them or have the DJs that we know, uh, some of the ones you saw, the four you saw last night, host. However it's gonna work out, uh, I think we'll do more. It was fantastic, super fun. Love the music last night, Catholic Traditionist. First time I have really listened to electronic ambient house music since college. Nice. Life should be one long dance party. I don't like that kind of language. Who are you talking? About? Okay. Man's been live two minutes and we already have got a troll. Okay. I had to ban someone last night too. Accidentally. I banned someone last night and then I unbanned them. My bad. Hi man. 
a spear how are you doing good call sort of ah, da, 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 da. okay i'm going down gang i can't catch up with the chat uh always be making always be making is one of the people that's second to the original request that came in so my request was more directly specifically at you chicho okay i'm more interested in what your goals are with the channels and your brand and what we can actually do to help oh wow i wasn't even thinking this I'll always be making um we can talk about it let me let me see if there's anything specific that anyone wants to deal with my goals i've laid out my goals really from the get-go like my about page i'll i'll deal with this uh, lay down seat the about page that i created for my blog in 2005 has maybe changed a couple of words just to clarify things right because i i started blogging in 2005 so my about page from 2005 has not really changed for the last 15 years minor edits right maybe i I just started blogging so I used the wrong words I learned how to write while I was blogging in a big way because our education system is so horrendous there's no way you know how to interact communicate with our world when you come out of a centralized education system because you grew up in a bubble you have no idea what's outside that bubble so it took me a long time it was multiple phases in trying to re-educate myself reprogram myself right so i'll read you my about page here let me read you my about page i'm sorry if i'm going on rants gang um i think the discussion is important uh we've come to a period right now where a lot of changes are taking place disruptive innovation is kicking in okay and we've talked about disruptive innovation and we're seeing how things unfold in the world and everybody should be aware of what's going on politically economically on every front right now because if you if you're not getting caught up with the noise where you're chasing either chasing the carrot or f being feared into insanity or whatever it is if you're just calm cool quiet and just look at the data coming in you're going to need the language of mathematics to be able to process this information right you can see things coming a mile away you can see things happening a mile away and i highly recommend uh you slow down in your life that's my first bit of advice regarding this whole thing slow that down right here's my about page and this about page has not really changed since 2005 going through three different iterations three different websites right introduction with the advent of the internet we have seen unfiltered information travel at light speed across the globe this global community functioning as the only true free society is reshaping our world where this interaction and connectivity will lead us is yet to be determined however the changes are and continue to be unprecedented as long as we have uh, have open and unbiased access to the internet chicho.com will remain active presenting a unique personal perspective and sharing our group our communal experiences and knowledge the essence of the internet as for who i am i believe that our personal perspective is a reflection of our influences hence below i have provided some of my influences both major and minor from books that i have read to teachers that i have encountered to movies and documentary documentaries that i have watched to music that i have looped and much more this list in addition to the animated individual you see before you in the math videos should provide additional insight into my nature i hope you enjoyed this love of labor labor right and um this about page is in essence what came out in 2005 right and it took me a while to write this by the way it took me because a thought of blogging came came to me it was suggested to me through a friend very close dear friend uh, i believe in 2000 and, and some of my students back in 2001 and 2002 they were saying chicho uh, you need to go online you need to go online i said okay i hesitated hesitated and you reached a point where i had no choice to go online because some of the information that i was seeking was not available online so i realized that the discourse had already dropped off since 9 11 because a lot of filters were put on the net a lot of censorship started taking place online right main reason main driving mechanism of this was of course big data 
right so it took me a few years to start this so this was a work in progress over a few years of me deciding what it was i really wanted to do online okay so in regards to your question okay always be making so my request was more directed specifically at you chicho i'm more interested in what your goals are with the channels and your brand and what we can actually do to help which links up to what i did as the intro which is basically we need to slow down right and that's one of the things i've been trying to propagate with through my mathematics and some of the other content and all of a sudden creating asmr related content right uh, and i've been doing that through education through teaching mathematics which is we need to slow down right i've narrowed it down for myself where i want to tackle the problem that we face as a society through the realm of education okay because i realize one of the problems that we have is centralized education is indoctrinating people into their bubble that they want them to exist in so people are uh are getting lost right and by the time they realize what has happened they blink and their life is over so their uh their life experience their ride has not been enjoyable so like where do we start right where do we start okay the sleepy waves topic of discussion i guess right uh, sleepy ways chicho my self-esteem has been low because i feel like i am very much in the beginning backed of uh back end of staring a new music career and haven't been able to share any finished work with my friends i'm almost uh it almost feels like if you don't have anything to show people uh show people won't take you seriously but it's hard so much learning curve to get through first sleepy waves i hope my rant for the last 10 minutes answer your question as well it's not supposed to be easy and it wasn't easy dude it, it's hard work i can't say how much time i spent personally from my front i knew what i wanted to do and i knew i would continue to do this as long as we had open unfiltered uncensored access to the internet once the sensors block off this information and uh, we can't share our thoughts openly that's the time where you have to step away right and that's the promise i made myself when i started this right and if you're waiting to have a finished work to share you're never going to share anything sleepy waves when i started sharing information it wasn't finished work like that was like have you seen the first math video i put out i was stumbling i was stuttering uh, i knew what i wanted to be said and it's not a bad video it's pretty good it's sincere um but that's i was just learning right my first bits of writing my god i went through uh you know how much uh feedback negative and positive feedback i was going through to try to figure out what the best way was to share that information like don't wait until you have a finished product to share with people share if you're trying to make for example if you're trying to make a 10 minute short documentary docudrama if you're trying to share a bit of music five minutes of music you're saying you're trying to share music share 30 second clips of it that you're happy right share little beats of it send it out get a little feedback if you don't share with anyone you'll never get a feedback from anyone you'll never know where you are in your progress other than you looping your own vision in your mind your vision will never be realized if you don't share right so you need to share no matter what it is that you're doing and you gotta have to grow thick skin you're gonna get criticized people are gonna gonna rip you apart they will good on them and you better take it as criticism not personally but as uh something that you can improve on right the wooden artist groovy padre 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 how are you doing that set was amazing that set was amazing hobbleton that was 
amazing got me pumped right this is speedy gonzalez chicho after nice uh nice nice session dj session right you get energized you get you get juices flowing right please tell me she will do more she was my favorite of that nice spider-man for sure she will okay i'm going down i'm going down uh, absurdicon chicho i would encourage you to check out confused bio product of a misinformed culture i don't know uh, absurdicon i don't i can't follow who you recommend on youtube uh, and anyone else while we're streaming if you're going to do recommendations discord is a place to do before the stream preferably not five minutes before the stream and after the stream right i will definitely check stuff out uh, i know a lot of there's a lot of disruptive innovation uh kicking in right now there's a lot of people finding their voice right now there's a lot of people popping in on all all the different platforms are coming online right now to bypass all the sensors and filters and control mechanisms right if you're finding amazing content on whatever platform it is please feel free to share it on our discord page if you find it interesting the odds are other people might find it interesting but be warned if you're sharing crap you better grow thick skin because you have to be able to take that criticism well right if you share content me included if i share content where there's serious gaps and holes in that content being shared and people come up and say hey chicho are you out of your mind what is this crap that you're getting us to watch and read right because that takes time out of people so consider yourself your first sort of um, anyway consider yourself someone that's wants to share your perspective of the world not someone else's perspective of the world right disruptive innovation is the name of the game always be making 100 percent it's so powerful right now and it's coming on hard and everybody if you guys are not online if you're not participating in this disruptive innovation that is coming online right now you're missing out i don't care where you are in your life okay matcha again eduardo tomahawk barbecue no i don't know them craxian night hello chicho thanks for the streaming new uh virus discussion when in the next set of videos uh night what we're gonna do is we're not gonna look at the data anymore we got enough data to take that data to create uh, a handful of questions that we're going to create for a statistics uh, module that we're going to create for mathematics so I'm, I'm satisfied with the data we have and we can't really rely on the data to anyway we won't get into it right now but the next discussion we have uh, is going to be more geared towards all the theories behind what's happening okay and it'll be in the next set of videos i announce okay so expect at least one possibly two in the next two weeks within the next two weeks probably next week okay we'll see for the last few days the new cases are backed on the rise and wanted to know your thoughts uh, could be second waves coming in if it's on that front perhaps they're uh, different testing whatever it is we can talk about it then uh, another late night stream Ch -ch -ch okay i'm gonna scroll down okay i'm all the way down to the bottom gang okay sleepy ways i think it's crazy that people making content on youtube such as yourself barely make anything off youtube nuts uh sleepy waves this goes into uh labor uh labor thing right it, it, i agree with you which is one reason all content creators should be uh decentralizing without a doubt right the man the legend <laughs> smith coolio hey this area looks a little uh less groovy than last night <laughs> uh, funny martin hilarious you're quick technique uh, chicho what online teach do you think is the most disruptive right now one what online what online tech 
the content creators, uh, tech, Nick, uh, 111. Everyone's talking about, and like, seriously, right now, it, it's, it, it's distraction to people, right? By the way, gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. If I've missed any, because I'm going off on rants. You, you've caught me at at a time where we just had a six and a half hour DJ set live streaming uh, we were hosting in our channel. So very excited, rejuvenated and stuff like this. And I highly recommend you include some kind of routine where you're physically moving and consuming on an extended level, uh, brilliant art, whatever it might be, Bri brilliant uh, creative content, whatever it might be, uh, for an extended period of time, maybe doing a marathon on an animation animated series, maybe uh, doing a six and a half hour or an 18 hour uh, DJ music festival, right? Doesn't make a difference, right? Which comes into answering the question here, which was da, 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 um, as Technic stated, what online tech do you think is the most disruptive right now? I think the online tech i think the the most disruptive uh innovation right now is content creators literally is content creators because we're going through the phase right now where things came out in the late 1990s the dream was there the dream was there the money was coming in the money was coming in the federal reserve and the people talk about well, i'm talking about the tech bubble by the way in 2000 right everything was hunky dory hunky dory hunky dory and then uh the federal reserve with greenspan came out and said uh, irrational exuberance look up irrational exuberance because people that were following the technology that had a certain amount of math background that realized what was coming in right computer science mathematics cs electrical engineering you could see what was coming right it was a huge technology right wow it's going to open things up, open things up. Money flowed mad, right? Federal Reserve came in, raised interest rates, I believe eight times in, uh, sometimes by two basis points in a matter of eight months, less than a year, they raised interest rates eight times. Someone can look, look that up and share it with the, with the chat, right? They went, bah, 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 bah. all of a sudden interest rates went up and everybody was leveraged to the tilt right or to the hilt i don't know what the saying is right and all of a sudden the big companies such as nortel networks we had multiple other companies tech companies since the question is tech tech companies all leveraged right borrowed money cheap money to build infrastructure their rates went up everything collapsed domino effect boom right and then there was a period of complete consolidation right a lot of people don't appreciate that after the 2000 and 2000 tech bubble blew right it was popped i believe five or seven years afterwards 50 percent of the tech companies that were active during that period were still active right so everything didn't go down 90 percent or 95 percent as the stock market showed 50 percent of those companies were still active but there's a serious wave of consolidation happening where amazon ebay pay well paypal got bought off by ebay uh, there was mergers and accusations acquisitions right so all of a sudden the big boys started gobbling things up which is what's happening right now right big boys are going to start gobbling things up but a lot of it on the consumer front right so what happened with the tech because the question is specifically tech related right there was a serious consolidation of power right mergers and acquisitions money being blah 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 blah, blah readjustment readjustment and a whole bunch of monopolies were created we're in the beginning stages of monopolies being losing a fair bit of their power with BitChute and uh, all of these other platforms coming online, right? So now that all these different types of platforms are coming online, what are they fighting over, right? The question is, what, what are they fighting over? They're fighting over eyes, right? They're fighting over subscribers, clients, people that will go to their platform, right? Because they need the traffic. What is bringing the traffic there? Some people are addicted to certain, you know, there's addiction, there's different technologies that are, their business model is to get people addicted for them to stay there, right? You know, like casinos, but online casinos. There's uh, even TikTok, even Facebook, there's addiction 
factors built in there, right? Bah, bah, boo, boo, boo. But the addiction only goes so far. You don't want to just go after the addicted because the addicted are sick in general, right? They're not, they're in society, the addicted are not uh, long term reliable customers for you. You want, in general, people who can function in the world, right? So all those people go to different platforms because of content. So content creators right now is the name of the game. And the beauty of that thing is right now, it's to a certain degree, it's, it's gone decentralized, right? With individual content creators like myself and millions of other content creators online, may they be on Vimeo, Dailymotion, BitChute, um, DLive, <laughs> all these uh, all these different video sharing platforms TikTok, uh, facebook uh, twitch all these different places right so there's tens of millions of individual content creators but we're also seeing it on the big boys right right now we have disney studios live streaming apple live streaming starting to create content uh netflix original content studios going amazon original content studios going uh hollywood trying to hold on right <laughs> i hope they don't right that's complete centralized we're seeing all of this come out right we're seeing second tier groups of creators coming together and creating content so there's a lot of a lot of amazing stuff being done so i think that's the most disruptive innovation right because that's going to be the driving mechanism for the specific platforms if they're going to do well right like look at zoom i consider it to be i don't like it personally but i know people that do right like last night when we were when we finished the dj set uh, i took pictures we had three different monitors going right one one place we had a little corner of the house of the not house but the space we have set up for uh friends close friends that we see uh, or that we don't some of them are not where we are uh, on zoom right just a corner not showing anything sound off right just visual right we had twitch going right with the dj sets i had the other computer going i was monitoring the chat and stuff like this and giving information that's the disruptive tech right and there's people fighting over it i'm not sure if that's answering your question i'm going on rants on this one okay uh, by the way just to let you know i do have a video that i'm going to shoot that i'm going to create to address some of the things that we're talking about here but it's linked up with the asmr mathematics so i rather not go into it until i have it flowing the proper way okay i'm missing so much what kind of content creators dante danite every type of content creator every type of content creator music video text articles um, meditation education education huge obviously um and it doesn't mean you have to be in one right like for example i'm in the education market i'm in the information market right just education in general right sorry a uh, mathematics market teaching math education in general food uh this that that like if you look at the content that i'm creating donita people told me when i was started blogging in 2005 focus on one thing chicho focus on one thing just do that right if i had focused on that one thing i wouldn't have gone into creating math videos right if i focused on that one thing i would have kept on writing political economic articles and at the time my articles were hidden the front page of dig and reddit and uh stumble or uh, uh, uh stump oh i forget some of the other platforms oh, do, 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 do. front page right but I didn't want just to be that because everything was linked up, right? If I had stayed with that, then I wouldn't be here right now doing this, which I think is brilliant. So I don't think it's any specific type of content. I think we all have to be polymath right now. We need to decentralize. Like I, when I say decentralize, I've been saying decentralized for a number of years right now, right? But it's not just decentralized from the different platform. Decentralize, give a holistic view to what existence should be not uh, a pipeline that feeds into a wall street corporation that says convinces people that this is their existence chase the carrot the existence is to accumulate fiat currency to accumulate property to accumulate 
only this only this only this we are not just one thing we are multiple things and that is what is required right now okay i'm i'm scrolling down gang uh if there's anything directed towards me please let me know and i'll uh, i'll read it absurdicon i absolutely agree i have a friend who is insanely addicted to tiktok and it's sickening i loathe that platform it sees attention seeking individuals yeah absurdicon and people are addicted on multiple things human beings we have addiction addictive tendencies i don't care who you are everybody is addicted to something in their lives if you're lucky enough that you have never encountered your addiction you can like really uh, you've never encountered an addiction you are blessed to a certain degree right because your addiction is out there right if you look hard enough you'll find something you're addicted to and addiction is different than passion right addiction is uh, a passion turns into an addiction if you sacrifice everything else in your life for that passion then it's an addiction right may it be your health your 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 finances your family your loved ones uh, whatever it might be right so and there's corporations that are feeding on that addiction right but their user base in the end dies dies sooner than the ones that don't have addictions addiction kills period right seriously right addiction uh, intru introduces major stress into people's lives and the one of the main causes of ill health is stress period so if you want to live a healthy life reduce your stress find an asmr content literally find an asmr content creator that uh, or five that really resonate with you that calm things down i'm pretty sure i'm not really talking calm right now because we're talking on a subject which is extremely important right uh, but find five asmr content creators and include at least an hour two hours of the content into your life or 10 if you if you're mul like multiple things right uh mods thank you for taking care of business coolio oh my god yes that focus on one uh, thing advice is terrible 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 it and you should have seen the number of people coolio that were telling me to do that in the early two oh, focus on one thing i'm like dude it's not going there right for some reason i could see it going beyond that one thing right maybe the one thing would have been would have brought on a lot of material wealth but that's not my goal my goal was not the material wealth my goal is is something else right i've mentioned a few times in the past i haven't yet in the stream okay i have i have hinted towards it just improving society and stuff like this and making life better for all of us and that's basically a selfish mechanism for me because i want to live in a better world right that's that's my goal really uh, right i want to live in a better world i'm doing whatever i can to make that realize right focus on one thing i don't want life to be that one thing that becomes an addiction i don't want that addiction right i want multiple multiple things in my life multiple addictions in my life which become really just passions because i jump from one to one right extremism and moderation it stifles uh creativity and free thinking i was told that about so much growing up and now i have trouble uh finishing things i started the kicker to finishing things is start 10 things make sure you're getting done done right. done oh nice filled up three spaces whoop introduce three more oh done nice nice oh done maybe this guy and this guy are related when this gets done this gets done nice oh wait this this got done this got done nice right right on right uh sleepy waves will you ever make another video talking uh about yeah for sure sleepy waves i feel like i wish a, a platform existed like this for musicians i tend to have a, a good ear for upcoming artists wish uh, there was something where i could invest in sleepy waves do do research i would have to do the same thing i don't know uh, for me to talk about uh icos again right uh, initial coin offerings cryptocurrencies right i would have to do the research because it's not something i'm actively seeking right thank you very much for the cheers uh, again 
I'm scrolling down, gang. What are your thoughts on Oh, dude, I'm not going to get into uh here. I'm going to do this. Watch this. We got a command here, politics. Doop. I know this is sort of politics related, but it's not. Uh, so politics, please keep politics and other heavy subjects to their respective streams. Not to self-promote, uh, but truthfully, I work on eight projects simultaneously. That's what we we do in streams. Yeah, always be making. I'm 100% with always be making on this, right? Fun. Fun stuff. I'm all the way down to the bottom of the stream, gang. Uh, bottom of the chat, gang. Right. Do you use cold storage for your uh, coins? Or do you keep out um, in wild? What wallet is your choice? Uh, Smith, I can't uh, answer that question. The the key, stay focused on what cryptocurrencies are. Cryptocurrencies, right? Um, uh, it's supposed to provide anonymity, right? So what cold storage? Uh, cold storage is basically not online, not on a wallets anywhere and stuff like this. I recommend if you're in cryptocurrencies to have distribute your cryptocurrencies over multiple uh, different uh, ways of storing and maintaining and trading, right? That's what I would recommend because if one goes down, you still have 75% of your uh, holdings left. Hello, Chicho. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Lark. How are you doing, Chicho? At Gemini, it will always be in your nature to do multiple things. Yeah. Oh boy, yeah. By the way, thank you, Sleepy Waves, for reminding me. Everything that we're saying here right now, everyone on chat, me included, take with a grain of salt. Nothing applies to everyone across the board. Some people need to focus on one thing and do that one thing for a long time, right? So, this is an open discussion, right? Uh, if you take anything we say to heart that it doesn't work for you, then you know. Uh, that's unfortunate i hope something else does right oh boy don't get me started on astrology <laughs> coolio uh alex how are you doing hey chicho what do you think is the best ethical way a lot of immoral ways we can be improving our financial position during this during this crisis uh, it, are you talking about taking money and investing it somewhere or are you talking about uh, focusing your own energy to create something? There are so many, like there's so much. I don't, like if you're talking about companies on Wall Street, um, I've mentioned this before, I, I have, I, I would be looking into cannabis stocks, right? But I would not, like if, for example, if Bear, created a cannabis industry branch off from them i would never invest in them right so again e even each each um, industry has things that you need to look into directly right it's so vast so vast thank you chicho i'm doing great awesome lark oh by the way i just bought a book on amazon about how to make liqueurs and infuse spirits because your liqueur tasting stream spark my nice utah jazz awesome have you started making any i sampled my liqueur cabinet well last night it was a good liqueur night i've stopped conversations before because someone has uh, come up and told me how that's such a insert uh, star sign here thing to do i know <laughs> it's fun to play with but by the way coolio it's fun to have fun with astrology right you're just imagining discussing it's it's an icebreaker and stuff right it's fun mask of raven how are you doing disruptive innovation create it's not about money all in acb living hope hannah how are you doing Thank you for the follow dodgy dodgy move not yet i'm still waiting for the book to show up okay we got the video just make just make one batch here uh utah jazz you gotta try this just that i hope you made at least one batch of liqueur from the way we do it and then 
keep that for like you know a month until you you know when your book arrives make one of theirs and then sample see which one's better whose recipe is better i went into the forest and smoked uh, medical cannabis three sativa uh, joints it was amazing and i'm still three Anna, that's a lot as a virgo i'm skeptical of astrology leo here yeah i have no problem with that it's when people take it seriously 100 percent through leo there there are several people i know who take that stuff deadly seriously deadly seriously 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 uh, i'm a chess twitch player but i love asmr and i saw your channel and fall in love with it nice dodgy do, dodgy move awesome so you play chess online live fun everyone familiar with uh, privacy tools the Smith many sent decentralized privacy centric tools and thoughts I don't know it welcome my vertigo brother Oh, I'm actually a different sign depending on who you ask. Ha <laughs> ha, Coolio. Oh, yeah, some people have different signs. And numerology is fun too. What is a financial burden from supporting those plants behind you? Financial burden? Zero. Water. Time. But I love the plants. So it's not a burden. It's I spend time with the plants. Uh, the, it, the plants behind win 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 ah you're an equinox nice chicho your voice is amazing thanks anna after three of three of what you did almost anything could be amazing yes five minute chess three minute chess wow online cool i'll check you out i uh, love chess spider-man says I tried to stay up till the end of the DJ DJ stream, but I had a bit too much to drink and fell asleep for two hours. Woke up to the last DJ playing, but was too exhausted to continue watching. I went to bed, enjoyed myself. Not awesome thing, Bobber. Yeah, pacing is key, right? Pacing is key. It was it was fantastic. It was really fun. It was really fun. We need a chess ma chess mastery. I haven't been playing chess forever, man. I do every now and then with cousins just one round if I'm lucky I win I thought people were falling asleep yeah some people passed out for sure they would have to thank you for the cheers that's almost as much winning as Charlie Sheen I sometimes feel like YouTube is like a mini government in its own way yeah for sure like I've noticed that YouTube acts a lot like a government. The channels are like companies and the viewers are the consumers. Yeah, 100%, right? And it's being decentralized. Like there's more people going to other platforms to share content, and rightfully so, right? Hello, did you uh, play in Samsung ad? No, I was very similar to someone there. No, I don't think so. I'm also in EST, yeah, three hours ahead. So it was super late by my end, yeah. I've talked to the people when we mentioned, or one person anyway, that if we do another DJ set like that, uh, probably do it started during the day, like maybe 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the morning, and do longer set, who knows, we see, right? And when it comes to work, like gang, that was a lot of work. There was a, like what we did last night, Took a lot of work there was a lot of uh a lot of uh time and energy in it right there was a lot of people with a lot of experience years of experience of either being online or uh, playing music creating content all that stuff together if you took that six and a half hours uh worth of dj streaming that happened last night and people you guys were like the amount of work that took to bring that together was a lot but it didn't feel like work because to a certain degree i mean it, it was it was work but it it wasn't uh, something that wasn't enjoyable 
right it was a lot of work to put together something that a lot of people enjoy put out a lot of amazing great vibes right and the rewards are not something that you could measure based on wall street currency to a certain degree other than amazon with the streaming right i don't know i'm not articulating myself well enough this is part of the math video i want to do so i, won't, I don't want to go too intricate in it right what are you discussing with respect to personal finance harry uh, canary we sp uh, we talked about work uh the way you should approach the world right now a personal finance is like we said personal so we're going a little bit uh macro right now right we're not focusing on the micro when it just comes to bank account we're going macro it's about lifestyle right advice if uh lark advice if wanted to start a channel with content even though i'm not well equipped with a mic and etc the the mic and stuff is a certain amount of expense sure i had to get a higher end computer laptop computer so i could move around the cameras and the stuff so you need a few thousand bucks to drop into the uh the hardware right you need to put time in time is the crucial one it's going to take you a while to figure out the platforms and stuff like this right i would i would say if you want to be creating content online learn how to create whatever content it is you want to create online right is do you want to make music do you want to make art do you want to write do you want to create videos live stream what do you want to do right so your first order of business is not to figure out what the information is what the content is you're trying to share first information is learn the platforms right you can you can go oh eureka i want to do this your inspiration is there but you don't you haven't learned the platforms to be able to do it yet your inspiration is going to be there only for a short period of time like really this i've had i've 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 taken notes i've been inspired to create certain types of content which would be amazing like literally amazing right in my mind they're amazing like the stuff some of the stuff you see in my mind is amazing it comes out that way sometimes when i create it sometimes it doesn't right but a certain percentage does but i've never had you know i haven't had time to do all of them right why because there's other things i needed to do and the inspiration goes away so your first order of business lark personal advice personal finance advice right if you want to start creating content learn the different tech that you need to learn to be able to share that information as soon as it comes to you right so if you need to put money into it put money into it if you need to put time into it put time into it worst case scenario you just improved your resume you know how to live stream on twitch you know how to mod a chat you know how to edit video you know how to sample music you know how to write wow you know how to interact online on the different platforms there's a lot of things that you have to accumulate to be able to share right there's a lot of brilliant people like honestly straight up i've mentioned this before there's a lot of geniuses savants intelligent people beyond maybe anyone you've ever encountered with homeless on the streets because they're brilliant but they didn't have the education the knowledge the patience the time the finances to be able to learn how to communicate their wisdom right so they got lost in their own loop and they attached onto a certain type of addiction and they went this way there's a lot that were there through trauma of course right i'm gonna scroll down gang hannah will the prices of used cars go down during this uh, econ economy i don't know hannah i have my own opinion i could go both ways right like if the supply chain if the supply chain is cut in a big way and it is right and if the conflicts uh trade conflicts and there is there's a lot of politics economics going on that we can get into tomorrow if a certain types of products are harder to get your hands on yeah then prices will go up right if they're gonna be 
more easily available then the price is going to go down you have to look into each one right do i have a math degree i got a geophysics degree and a math minor and i worked as a geophysicist for like a decade rabbit isn't afraid to ask the big questions rabbit rabbit i'm gonna where is rabbit is there a rabbit question if there's anything being directed towards me gang please let me know i'm scrolling down gang just to stay up to chat uh and mods thank you for taking care of business thank you for being here uh by the way thank you for the subs thank you for the thank you for the follows thank you for the discussion thank you for the questions right um, I'm not sure if I'm being hard fast slow I'm answering questions directly but uh, this is the speed that I'm at right now okay drinking my matcha coming off a uh, yesterday's thing was was fantastic yesterday I was I was up at around 4 30 in the morning right doing certain other things i released a video i was doing some little bit of editing and stuff got things ready da, 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 set up the whole thing we changed things up from the uh, sound check and went till i don't know one o'clock in the morning right that's rejuvenating right coolio did you see my last two comments interested in your take oh i didn't see it let's check it out uh, coolio 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 do you think too many people are resistant to change to be able to get the economy as a whole to adapt to the new re, uh, redefined work class or or will it be an quote adapt or die type of work environment uh, it's going to be an adapt or die in large part for a lot of people unfortunately and a lot of people it's not some people for sure they're they're stuck in their own bubble they've been stuck there too long and it's very difficult to break them through the the bubble what i tell my students and friends as well is in large part i like uh i really the, the i cherish my interaction with my students because they have the ability the less indoctrination you've had in your life the less of this constraining uh there's so many words you can use but the less of this constraining economic political system existence you've had in your life the more open you are to the possibilities of the world right so it is much more difficult to break to challenge people's dogmas as they get older right so when they're younger that's why advertisers disney all the all these people they don't gear their advertisements towards 15 16 year olds they geared their advertisements towards five six seven eight year old right because they want to capture them then because that's the easiest time to capture them right because when people are 20 late teens 20 30 40 50 60 the older they get is in general by the way there's a lot of people that do are aware of the the reality shift taking place right but it's very much it's very difficult to break them out of that right so it takes a lot more energy to do it so uh you know long wind story it, it's a combination but there are people that are gonna be uh it's a do or die right um and some people have they have too too much invested in this current political economic system right like just imagine people who have worked um their lives for let's say 20 years 15 years 10 years let's say within five years people start being really uh, committed to this economic system if they've done the following if they've taken their work at a corporation they've taken a certain amount of their paycheck and they put it into rsp and they're they're they if they've attached their wealth their future their health to wall street after about five years you see the shift right no no everything's good everything's good why because on paper they're seeing their wealth go up a little bit on paper they're not seeing their wealth in other aspects of their lives just completely being destroyed right they just you know they see a number they get at the end of the month at the end of the year every quarter right they see a number oh that number is increasing right wow great great but they don't they don't realize that 
Oh, healthcare costs is increasing, food prices increase, quality of food is going down, water supply is being contaminated, right? Oh, wow, they're not covered as much. They got a, you know, a little bit of insurance, but the insurance that they're taking off this is not as much as they're gaining here, right? So people start becoming invested 10 years later, they're invested 15, boom, they're invested in the system. Now try to convince them that what they what their investment is is worthless in the real scheme of things, right? It difficult, difficult. I have no idea if I answered that coolly or not. That just went off. Did you see? <laughs> that makes much more sense. I had uploaded three videos on YouTube not too long ago. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm going down. Chicho, always been making. How you doing? So can we brainstorm a bit about the end game? I don't think there is an end game. It's everyone's a perspective I'll always be making, right? I keep a vision board. Okay, cool. That's good for sure. One of the one of the things I can recommend. I'll, I'll always be making. I'm hijacking your comment, right? Check this out. One of the greatest thing you can do in your life, if you try to, if if you've reached the point in your life where you're like. I need to there's ideas in your mind just going the possibilities you've reached a point in your life where all these possibilities are coming and going now you're not saying bad 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 you're not going oh, I hate this I hate this I hate this you're in the phase in your life where you're saying oh what can I do with that oh this what does this mean oh strength theory what oh what it did uh, live streaming what what educating online what uh, uh, repo credit all these things are going through your head. What does that mean? What's finance? What create have a wall at your house, right? Create a nice size wall at your house, right? Everybody's seen this when you watch police movies and detective movies and drama movies, right? If there's any police scene, right? Or any heist scene, they have a board and they have all these papers, everything on there, right? So create a board like this. Big depending on the ideas in your head head make sure you got it's scalable you got room to grow and if an idea comes to your mind have pen and paper with you always write down pen and paper and put it on the board somewhere and slowly start arranging your ideas visually on your board right oh this over here and this over here and this over here oh they're talking about the same thing put them together in one area right shuffle it it's a puzzle slowly you'll see ideas start to form in their complete uh, form really right you're gonna see them Wow right that's the way I've created a lot of the math content that I've created online as well as other content that I've created online I've taken things and I put them on the wall and I've looked at them what links with what companies do this managers do this they call them uh, what do they call them when they have the boxes and the bubbles the charts the pointing systems if any program if you want to create something acquire the tools that you need to be able to create something right okay that's enough hijack i want to read your comment again always be making so can we brainstorm a bit about the end game i keep a vision board of eight goals which i use to remind myself of the things that are important and things i'm working towards what are you working towards do you know when you will be done uh do you want to be done uh my okay my end game is to have an amazing life right my end game is really have you guys seen samurai shampoo right samurai shampoo and cowboy bebop they have one theme in common they have multiple themes in common same type of creator same with space dandy right there's a theme in common uh in specifically the creators that create samurai shampoo cowboy bebop and space dandy right but in samurai shampoo uh spy oh man i forget their names the one that's uh fights like a rooster um right all over the place right not the fish uh, not uh, gene uh spike not spike spike is cowboy be pop uh, i forgot his, i'm gonna scroll down because i'm going on a rant uh hopefully someone uh, will give me the name samurai shampoo the he's fighting he's like chaos right he grew up on an island uh, orphan grew up uh, fantastic right and he's one of the main characters right and he's going through the i'm giving i'm going to give you spoilers right there's one episode where he gets into this battle and he almost dies right <laughs> he's 
he's dying you think he's dead and he goes into the afterworld and is experiencing it and he goes is this is this it sweet right if you can say that before you take your last breath that's the end game that's what you want right now everything else you do in the middle what what are, what are you working towards if if we're working towards the end game that's the end game that's what i'm working towards do you know where when you will when when you will be done i'll be done when i say sweet and take my last breath do you want to be done not really i don't want to be done man uh, i want to keep it going it's a pretty sweet ride right so um i i'm being very hyperbolic right now always be making uh I'm doing right now what I'm doing is doing the things that uh, I need to do I want to do to get the information that I want to get across across right that's related really to my about page sharing as much information as possible in a holistic sense making the world as best as I can right uh, so that it'll be better so I'll have a better life, right? So it's a very selfish reason as far as I'm concerned. I got the head out for now. Have an amazing stream, Chicho. Thank you, Spider-Man and chat. Take care. Take care, everyone. Or take care, Spider-Man. Uh, Ding Bobber, Chicho. Do you think TV and uh, nowadays internet indoctrination with at the same with at the same time user tracking on uh, devices tracking where people go what they consume etc and applying um, advertisements towards them based on that which is only going to get more sophisticated over time going to lead to children being manipulated on a grand scale to the benefit of corporations governments etc uh, ding bobber without uh, without us making sure that children are not used and abused and indoctrinated and taken advantage of for sure the adults in the room us have to make sure that we prevent data mining of and manipulation of society by multinational corporations best way we can do that is to make sure uh, we eliminate censorship right as soon as the censorship comes about they'll do it in the name of protecting the children but they're not really protecting the children they're protecting their assets from breaking through the bubble right that's what they're protecting it's it's as simple as that and for sure those centralized institutions are going to try to control and manipulate everyone they've been trying to do that forever right have they succeeded i see I see more diverse uh, thoughts and opinions, uh, theories. Uh, it's the Streisand effect. They're trying to suppress people. People are rise, you know, saying no. Right? Lark, great advice. I hope so. I don't know which one it was. <laughs> I think I've been at the point in a permanent spot for about five years now, Coolio. Some, I've gone through those periods, Coolio. And Coolio, I think you're in early 20s, right? Or late teens. I had my head up my ass until early 30s, right? Don't be in a rush, uh, but accu accumulate. I'm 25. Okay, 25. Uh, 20s are wacko, man. Uh, right now, Coolio, acquire tools. Uh, just make sure you're learning constantly don't get stuck in a rut where you're not learning i don't care what it is like really sounds like you love music highly like i haven't done it myself really i haven't done it myself i need to do it right uh because i need to get on soundcloud and one of the reasons i, I want to start going on soundcloud is because i want to learn audio editing i want to optimize that right i'll be hitting you guys up on discord to give me advice on how to do this stuff right but start acquiring tools that you're going to need think about what's coming down the road right i think personally coolio i think you're doing fantastic man really you know more at 25 than i did i thought i did but i didn't know i didn't know I always been making i wouldn't put ideas out there if i didn't want people to have them part of being a facility yeah for sure 
but it's not we have to make sure that it's not our ideas that are implanted on students right we want to make pave the way for people and we should all be doing this to find their own path right so that means really not protecting them from bombardment from other places but to empowering them giving them the, the ability to analyze the information coming in hence from my part mathematics right enjoy the conversation good night Chicho. good night connor i'm glad you enjoyed the conversation man sweet dreams i strongly don't miss my 20s yeah 20s man 20s is nasty fun could be fun but people go through a lot of turmoil man i saw a lot of people being destroyed in their 20s experiential learning is the name of the game in my opinion cool i like to think i can help if you want it okay thank you very much always making again like it took a lot of effort a lot of work I, I barely did anything last night's stream right i made sure you know i did the post and all this jazz and uh, you know i made sure i learned what i was supposed to do and we did a sound test so i put a, a few hours in right and the djs were doing like the dj sets that you saw like my partner set two hour set and other, the other djs hour and a half set or two hours set doesn't make a difference it takes multiple hours to put those sets together so there's a lot of thing a lot of hours being put in to bring that content to everyone right uh, so collaboration takes a fair bit of energy um, that's for sure and i think uh, slowly it is you know if you want to go far you go together right and we should never be in a rush to do i just want to be well equipped for life and get the most out of it and help as many people as i can while i'm here but every time i think i get a handle on things some crazy curveball happens the biggest of which is now a global pandemic yeah coolio i can honestly tell you if you uh, what's that saying that i've said multiple times now if you want to make god laugh or make god laugh right uh tell them your plans tell him your plans tell her your plans tell it your plans right i always said in the past if you want to make god laugh tell him your proud your your plans right ha 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 that's what he thinks is going to happen that's what she thinks is going to happen really man uh, it's not going to happen so all you got to appreciate is no matter how bad you think things are they could always get worse no matter how good you think things are they could always get better uh just enjoy where you are right and have the possibilities open any help advice and always appreciate it so thank you awesome yeah for sure regarding always be making you think the coronavirus was planted or is we're going to talk about coronavirus smoking um not sure because that's more politics related it's not related to personal finance it has brought about things that we have to really analyze now regarding our personal finance there are hundreds of millions of people going through that right now if not billions right but we're going to talk about that in the next set of videos and we're going to we can talk about that tomorrow when we're talking about current events okay i hope that's okay i listened to her set again this afternoon awesome smith awesome it was a good set it was a fantastic set i've been he hearing her put it together for the last couple of weeks some of the music that was shelved was also amazing oh my god she went through 300 tracks to put that two hour set together which is really i forget how many tracks it is right at 300 sets out of probably i don't know how many she went through right 300 sets that she had put in a folder going through trying to put that together a lot of work went into that chiha how are you doing tachiha how are you doing itan tachiha I have a creative neurotic brain yet i want to pursue career in mathematics although i enjoy math i notice i cannot focus as long as my maths mathematical as much as long as my mathematical peers should i make adjustments to my career plans um if this is your passion i would say uh, 
continue it, mathematics in general can only open doors for you, right? But also acquire some other tools as a safety net, right? So don't put all your eggs in that one basket mathematics. Maybe you'll get tired of it at one point, right? Make sure you know how to use some of the mathematics you're learning in other disciplines, right? Maybe instead of focusing on one aspect of the mathematics, you need to focus on multiple. So I wouldn't, you know, it depends where you are in your education as well, right? If you're like uh, uh, Chiha, are you university? I don't know where you are, right? But if, like, seriously, don't just go down one pipe. You can if you want. It, I'm not saying don't, like, as in never do it or anything like this. But I would recommend just to be more anti-fragile, right? Make sure that links up with one, two, three other things, right? It gives you diversity. It gives you, it, and, and it provides pleasure in your life. I mean, there's nothing wrong with, you love mathematics, stay there. But I'm pretty sure you have other loves as well. See how mathematics relates to those things, right? Music, mathematics, right? Stock markets, mathematics, trading, math, cryptocurrencies, technology, mathematics, right? Layer it. I like to think God has a very dark sense of humor, yeah. Or no humor at all. I mostly enjoyed my 30s. 30 is interesting. I just turned 28, but I'm in a period of profound growth, always be making sense. I'm going to try to keep it riding for as long as I can because I love the feeling. Yeah, I'll always be making it. It's amazing. Sleepy waves. I tend to only focus on things like writing, piano, etc. for small 50-minute intervals. Do, do you think that's okay? Sure, why not? I've also heard that long-hour sessions can be super valuable. For sure. I do both sleepy waves. Sometimes, you know, I got a lot of things going. I spent five minutes, ten minutes here, fifteen minutes here, forty minutes here, fifteen to do, 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 do this, and then sometimes I go two, three, four, two weeks, uh, days, weeks, months on one thing. Right? Extremism and moderation. Coolio, my opinions tend to not be respected as much because I'm 25. Yeah. If I was 35. They would be taken more seriously i get the idea behind uh, behind that it's still very frustrating yeah coolio i encountered the same thing for sure especially in workforce man it established industries do not pay much respect to youth coming up it's their 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 mistake uh, Chiha, how good were you with your personal finances in your early 20s? And what are your main top tips for a 19 year old going into his 20s next month? Um, was I personally personal finance? No, man. My, my understanding of finance was garbage, but like I went into huge debt when I was in my 20s, like really gigantic. I went to huge debt forming a comic book company comic book publishing company trying to put out independent comic books during a time when there was distributors wars going on in the early 1990s uh in the comic book industry the distributor wars there's publisher wars there's bubble being formed it was insane right so my personal finances in my 20s are horrendous right i'd go to clubs and uh, live it up right i live large i live small i've done all of it right uh, really uh, so th th in my 20s no uh, my main advice to a 19 year old uh, th really it's more life choices it's not money choices right uh, because what you want to get out of your make oh, here my my first advice to those going into your 20s make your make sure your 20s don't take you out of the game do you have any idea how many how many people bite the dust in their 20s may it be through health may it be through life may it be through they get they get married when they're 19 i mean i knew people that got married when they're 19 my mouth would drop they're married when you're 19 are you out of your mind in some places in the world that might be legit right that is the life the they live right so i'm not talking about everywhere but i can honestly tell you 
if you're living in Canada, United States, and you're getting married when you're 19, that is the biggest financial mistake you've ever done in your life, right? So, and again, take it with a grain of salt. You might be living and in love with the love of your life, and no one else, uh, no one will ever make you happy again. And, you know, don't call it off and come back to Chicho 10 years later, 20 years later, five years later. So, Chicho, you told me to do this, and my life is miserable. No but don't make any major commitments that lock you up for multiple years the 20s are, are a hurricane make sure you're mobile you can bend you don't break okay that's my advice if to you that means putting money in a in some kind of investment that gives you a certain amount of dividends so you have a lot of money when you're 30s sure but really appreciate that that money that you're putting away every month uh, might have been taking away from experiences that you could have had in your 20s that you cannot have in your 30s or 40s or 50s or 60s anymore right life experience counts more than fiat currency okay and uh, keep, uh, keep this in mind as well uh chiha you're gonna come across people that want to see the world burn as has been said in multiple books and poems and music and movies and stuff like this right be uh be weary that you know really appreciate what it means that good things happen to bad people coolio read the book atomic habits i benefit greatly uh, from it and it sounds like you would as well uh, I scroll down a little bit, gang. Uh, uh, Catholic traditionalists. I know many, many people that married young, including many relatives. For the most part, they are living joyfully and abundantly, even if they are not uh, materially wealthy. Okay, Catholic tradition. There is the contradictory thing, right? So don't take my word for it, because there's many people, as Catholic traditionalists says, that are living amazing lives, right? Catholic tradition is how old uh, are they now and that matters as well okay if they married when they're 19 and they're 30 sure if they're married when they're 19 and they're 40 still together mm, uh, 50 still together mm, that's pretty good it very much depends uh, depends upon how you choose to find fulfillment 100% right 100% so if you want to have kids when you're young a lot of people say have kids when you're young because you won't want you know you won't be ready or willing or whatever to take on that responsibility as you get older i never really understood that right it was like, have kids when you're young she's kids when you're young right and there was a period i was like yeah i want to have a lot of kids now that i'm older i, was, I would have been out of my mind right and right now no 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 right but back then yes, yes, yes yes so it depends what phase you are in your life right you make certain choices in your life at certain times in your life right i have also read atomic habits it also pushed me into a very positive direction awesome sounds like a good book ding bobber could you please read my message it's just up a chat a bit serious question okay ding bobber let me go up there let me check it out check it out check it out check it out where is it what the hell can you post it again i can't find it oh there it is chicho do you oh i didn't read the whole thing did i okay i gotta read it man do you think tv uh tv and nowadays internet indoctrination with at the with at the same time user tracking on devices tracking i read this part of it and i went off on a tangent i think uh tracking where people go what they consume etc and applying at advertisements towards them based on that which is only going to get more sophisticated over time going to lead to children being no i read this whole thing what else did you say brother you got to post it again man not that one not that one you got to post it again yeah we should we should say if you want me to read something that you posted that i missed just post it again and tell me and if i skip it again post it again just let me know okay having kids when you are older will make the kids mature much faster than if you had them when you were younger yeah it starts with i'm going to be honest 
uh, Ding Bobber, can you post it again, please? I scrolled and I didn't see it. Because, like, I saw a fair bit of chat. Would that be cool, man? That would be awesome. I just searched the book, you all. Keep mentioning. Atomic Habit. It seems like a bunch of self-improvement bluff, to be honest. Some of that stuff is, is just because it's self-improvement at mice. It doesn't uh, mean it's bad, right? Some of it might be BS. There's a lot of self-improvement stuff that is BS, right? But it doesn't have to be. And it doesn't hurt reading stuff. It's okay. Right? Don't know. Don't know. We're now and a half in. I'm waiting for Ding Bobber's comment. Save me a scroll. I can take a sip. Oh, yeah, I have walnuts and almonds. This is my walnuts and almonds. I showed you guys the other stream, I guess. This is how much I got. I haven't been eating too much of it. Well, some of it. And I've been eating other. I've been cooking with it, too. Are you better chicho are you better parent if you're older when you have kids or if you're younger in there mm, it's different i don't think age has to do with it i think it's how you treat the other individual i think it's your mindset i've never read a self-improving book uh, i recommend book i recommend reading Have you read the book Ordinary Man? No. I like, yeah. And other people that, um, I've had this question asking me self improvement books. I've never really read a self improvement book. The closest would be C.S. Lewis, but that's more philosophy. Oh. Yeah, it's good. Peanuts and wal uh, uh, walnuts. Amazing, power food. So good. Highly recommend. In terms of personal finance, what do you have in place to secure your future? I appreciate this. Uh, it's personal. Uh, I try to stay healthy. I built amazing connections. I, my family, uh, I built connections with. Uh, if you're asking me if I have a ton of money in the bank, nope. Uh, don't plan on it. If I have money in the bank, I take that money and invest it in hardware, software, uh, what I need to do to continue the work that I'm doing here in general, right? I'm not Accumulating material wealth. I'm accumulating knowledge experience um, Tools at my disposal and trying to stay healthy and building great connections amazing connections with hum other human beings because that to me is real value that to me is security for the future uh, everything else is irrelevant all of it Boo. Uh, everything that the corporate media is selling you to put money in the bank you can retire at this age and retire at that age man they're lying to you they're lying through their teeth right just ask any of the uh senior citizens that don't have a family that don't have people that they can in interact with with communities that no one was willing to make sure that they're taken care of that ends up in a old folks home that they have to pay five thousand dollars six thousand ten thousand dollars a month right how much money are you going to save by the time you're old old enough to retire to be able to pay like a million dollars a month what is that right? yeah waiting for trying to find did that come no it didn't come through nothing's it's not coming through ding bobber i'm not seeing your message Cut it in pieces. If it's too long, it won't post. Ordinary Men is a book. Is it? <laughs> Not interested. The book on Nazis that I'm reading is Wilhelm Reich's Mass Psychology of Fascism. Telling me all I need to know. Right? And I know a little bit of, not a little bit, a fair bit of history of the whole uh, global situation, how things have been, right? Martin, my friend of 32 years finally came to a stream, nice, and was banned after five minutes. He posted a message to get my attention and was taken a stroll again. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> On this stream? <laughs> Martin, did we kill him? Who killed him? 
Chicho, do you have a end game? I, I don't know what the end game is. I want to have a math curriculum out there to teach high school mathematics. How long is that going to take me? I don't know, man. Is that my end game? Hell no. As soon as I do that, I got a couple of other things I want to do, which I'm doing right now. I'm building towards right now. At some point, I'd love to produce music. I'm not effing with you. Nuja Baz inspired me to want to create music. Really? And 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 I've I did have a drum set, right? Uh, I love music. I love playing drums, right? <laughs> like, drums was one of my greatest passions. But then I decided to take that, uh, realize that there was a hobby that I wanted to focus on uh, other things. And that was going to be a road that wasn't going to last me too long, right? So I kept that as a, as a, as a passion in my life in regards to music, drumming, and uh, producers and stuff like this. And went into the realm of mathematics and, uh, and everything else. I as math. Thank you for the follow good timing on the on the math part uh, sleepy ways do you have any resources books tools outside of your content for personal finance um, outside of my content for my personal finance i have to think about that sleepy waves i'm not sure everything is personal finance to me that's why it's personal really <laughs> I'm currently ah oh, ding bobber. Okay, we got it. I'm currently unemployed, but hoping to be employed soon. I'm on disability in Ontario due to mental illness, and I have a government savings account, which the government's doubles or triples continue. Okay. Okay, I, I gotta keep that in mind so I can read the rest of it. Uh, ding bobber. Coolio, my end game is to live a fulfilling life. Die then tell whoever is on the other side okay it's my turn let me create a universe next <laughs> awesome and by the way coolio watch space dandy is that what you would say watch space dandy i can't give away more than that i can't give away more than that simmers how are you doing welcome welcome to nice live stream should i depend on it to give me a stable so ding bobber should i depend on it to give me a stable future i know i should branch out into many different things like stock investment gold silver right now i don't have much money but when i do i want to know what to do with it advice okay ding bobber here's the thing so i'm just gonna go off on a little bit uh, the, off meaning i'm gonna brainstorm just give you what i what i'm thinking right now right so take it with a grain of salt please don't take this to heart don't really don't don't do what i say this is just you asking me giving me three paragraphs of what your situation is right right now you got money coming in from the government to make sure you can maintain your life as if, if i understand right maintain your life buy your food rent paid for your expenses taken care of health care is taken care of which is really really important education take care taken care of to a certain degree right you also have the government money coming in where you have a savings account and that is growing as well so your money right now you have a certain amount of freedom even though you're on disability mental disability right so you have a certain amount of freedom first order of business for you first order of business for you stabilize mentally right stabilize emotionally stabilize within your community get to get to be at a place where you can breathe a little bit you're not under pressure constantly thinking of how much money you're going to have 30 years from now 40 years from now to retire forget about that noise and that is noise right take your situation right now appreciate what's happening look around you realize that a lot of people don't have that time available to them to think now that you spent the time thinking not thinking about what you're going to retire you know 30 years how much money you're going to have or anything thinking about uh, what do you want to do right now is there anything you want to learn is there any type of content you want to create what do you what do you want to do right now that is not going to put in jeopardy your stable living uh circumstances or the money going into your savings account that is building you a little bit of buffer and it's going to continuously grow hopefully right 
Because what you're saying is divest from here and go to the stock market. Because if the stock market goes, this goes. If this goes, the stock market goes. So they're linked. So you're not really divesting. You're in the same game, right? You're living. The situation is stabilized. You got money growing in a system that our current political economic system is functioning under, right? Divest. Get online. Where do you want to be online? Learn the different platforms. Are you, do you have, like, really, I, I don't know what you love. I don't know what you like. You've been here a while. We've talked a fair bit, but I, I can't say what you're into, right? Someone just mentioned awesome plants. Thanks. Do you like plants? Start taking cuttings, right? If you have a space available to you, start taking cuttings, growing plants. In my neighborhood, in my city, there are people who grow plants in their backyard. They put them outside, right? And they have a little box in front of their door and they have price tags on plants. And anyone that wants their plants, they go and put money in the box and take the plant away, right? I know this is not possible everywhere, right? There are people who buy used products, refurbish them and sell them. What are you into? Start acquiring skills and get into the economics game of it as well. So acquire the skills and try to flip that over into generating a certain amount of revenue. But don't think about the absolute revenue. Think about the percent growth, right? Think about the joy you're getting out of that, right? I'm quite good. Music, ding bobber. What are you good at? Are you, are you, do you play guitar? Do you play piano? Do you play drums? Do you produce music? If you produce music electronically or any, if you make music, you have to have an online presence. Really, you want to make a living producing music and you're quite good? I play, dude, then first, if I was you, and again, take this with a grain of salt, please, 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 please. What I would do may be completely different from what you would do. If I had, uh, like you have to a certain degree, you have more than me right now, right? My living situation is fairly stable, right? I can, I can, I break even on a monthly basis, right? Even through the pandemic, right? I set myself up, we've talked about this, to make sure I would diversify so I was anti-fragile. I had revenue streams cut, right? But because I was distributed this way, I was able to adjust a little bit, right? Adjust a little bit, right? So I'm breaking even. So my living situation is stable, less stable than you, because this is all me, right? Coming in, right? Your savings that the government has, mine is boop, none, right? However, I have family, friends, knowledge, this. I know how the systems work and all this stuff. So I have a few other things that you do not, I guess, right now. What am I doing? I'm creating content, sharing online. What you need to do is, do you have a YouTube account? Create it. Do you have a um, BitChute account? Create it. Uh, do you have a SoundCloud account? No, create it. Do you have a mixed, the other account? No, create it. You need to be on two video sharing platforms, two music sharing platforms, and live streaming, right? You need to be sharing your music. You need to get the flow going. Don't sit there and just play in your home. Get the flow going. That'll challenge you. I can taste a grain of salt in my mouth. Nice. Good. Okay. You want to create music? Who are you creating music for? You could create the greatest symphony the world would have ever heard. And if you've never shared it with anyone, who cares? You created it for yourself. What a selfish human being you are right if you're good at creating music create music and share it this is very inspiring i was going to make an album this song dude uh, ding bobber don't think of an album for sure album is amazing because the greatest albums uh, ever created are um, themes right they have a theme they start from the beginning telling the story all the way through right hip-hop metal electronic themes right but if you're finding creating a whole album is too much, focus on a song. Get that one song together. Is it the beginning? Is it the middle of the album? Is it the end? Put out little bits of it, maybe. Put out the whole. I don't. I'm not a musician. I don't know how it works. Well, I can't say I'm not a musician. I used to play drums, but I I, I don't actively 
make music right now at some point i'd like to there are subreddits to promote music and to help you mix master yeah fun how's our timing nice yeah you're welcome thing bug i hope that helped legacy oh, nice. <laughs> the coolio's on the ball <laughs> do you have a favorite album mine is the wall wow, wall by pink floyd is amazing right uh my for me one of the albums that i've gone to over the years again and again right new Jabaz i go to new Jabaz i listen to but specifically an album that i've gone to since 1980s uh rush is 2112 rush 2112 every now and then oh, i am cranking that thing hard right liberating okay every album starts with a great song i just said daddy <laughs> i know you did i was like what <laughs> i'm going to try and finally break that barrier when i haven't been online promoting my stuff yeah ding bobby get on there listen to lana del rey well probably like her lana del rey i think i know i have what kind of plant is in the cream container in this one in this one it's a fern it's a fantastic plant look at it it's beautiful isn't it really so nice so pretty thank you for noticing the beautiful Oh, look at this one little shoot coming off take a look do you see it let me see if i get right there oh, hold on let me see if i can get see the fresh shoot see that guy right there see that right there right nice nice it's gorgeous yeah what's the stream uh stream plan uh stream tomorrow's current events uh current events uh and economics as for those numbers 10 by 10. it's a game we play online we've we've live streamed this game if you do do chicho 10 by 10 you'll see the videos i have a playlist on youtube and we've done this was the last game we played on twitch live the chat tells us what numbers to do and we do it's a fantastic game very meditative have you ever considered a plant focus stream i've shown my uh, earth day is coming I i've shown my plant collection i've done a plant collection video uh when is earth day what day coolio maybe we do we're gonna fix up our patio but if next time i think it's sunny we're gonna fix up patio bring the plants outside you love nature don't you chicho that's like for sure lark i was a geophysicist i've flown around a lot of places and driven a lot of places in nature i've been doing geophysics while a bear was away like 20 feet away from me right or 20 meters away from me right that wanted to check me out i said hey get out of here i'm doing radar seismic whatever it was here death metal absurdicon awesome chicho uh sleepy waves uh, i've been working on my first song uh from writing it vocals and even learning piano just to get the keys and my overall knowledge up awesome sleepy waves now i am trying to learn how to mix but i am so overwhelmed by learning everything else at this point is better to keep trying to uh learning mixing or to delegate that to some uh someone else uh sleepy waves i would say this if you're learning how to mix and you're loving every hour that you're spending on there learning how to do it just stay focused if you're 
starting to find yourself like like overwhelmed and it's making you depressed and stuff then introduce the next thing you need to learn right so my advice would be if you're still enjoying the learning process of whatever it is you're learning and you're focused and you're very productive stick with it right but don't be afraid to introduce another thing as well but make sure you're introducing it when you have this time available to learn it right will you be doing any more backgammon or any more fun stuff besides the more serious streams like current uh earth or uh for sure atlas for sure what have we done we did math we did six and a half hour live music live stream last night um for sure we do the game we do backgammon for sure we'll be doing backgammon i got game it's just whatever uh, i take i'm taking requests and soon uh soon i haven't set my next five in the next five uh, there's things that i want to do in the next five four or five they might i'm pretty sure there'll be math at least um i consider that fun i don't know about you but uh, and everything else i consider fun too but math is pleasurable right um i can't remember what i've lined up brother or sister of course right i live on the west coast of canada sherry earth day was april 22nd oh we missed earth day but never too late never too late well we probably will in the summer once we set up the patio maybe i'll do a stream setting up the patio i'm gonna scroll down gang okay nice okay i'm all the way down gang coolio thank you i will keep that in mind i'll, I'll, I'll focus my direction oh, nice people having nice conversations nice we're coming almost to the end of the stream gang nice conversations i was pretty energized at the beginning eh? going mad but important topic matcha super good lots of nice greens green tea or tea i guess with honey i think tomorrow we do the stream here as well well we got this set up that way it's nice it looks super pretty sleep away in your part of the world canada what is a number of month monthly income that feels good where i live i need to break 4k a month to be a decent in canada it varies so much depending on where you live in vancouver to be comfortable to be pay like one bedroom apartment studio apartment is like fifteen hundred dollars twelve hundred fifteen hundred dollars to get a one bedroom apartment you're talking fifteen hundred two thousand dollars a month canadian right it's high it's high too high it's not like it's not and that's going to change like we're in serious flux right now but yeah sleepy waves pretty much four thousand says you're you're maintaining okay and that's about it right you're just maintaining with four thousand a month crazy i've reduced i've been able to reduce my expenses a lot i've had to to be able to do what i'm doing right now to balance out the funds coming in i just i just break even <laughs> as long as i'm producing creating content and i see growth happening in twitch in youtube and uh, well youtube not as much but in different places uh, i'm going to keep on going compound growth <laughs> take what they're using and use it to your advantage put it to your advantage uh coolio tell your plants i said hi and they look lovely today <laughs> pants did you hear that coolio says hi and that you look lovely today <laughs> and yesterday of course and tomorrow they're gonna look great as well i'm going to go break into my tea stash i've been neglecting uh since before the pandemic started great stream awesome coolio have some nice tea and thank you the plants send their best thanks again i'm going to go practice awesome everyone if i want to produce content online full-time i will have to leave to new to new york city. leave new york city i hope it's just unsust unsustainable you could pre create you could go live in an amazing place and create content uh your expenses would be minimal and put it'd be amazing less stress 
do you like painting i haven't done but i come from a family of painters uh, so and for hobby for hobby let's call the stream gang that was fun we'll be here tomorrow at uh, 1 p.m pdt my time talking about current events economics g2g goodbye to g goodbye g2g uptime how long you been up oh you put a space between it you got to go exclamation mark and then uptime together yeah one hour and 50 minutes good good gang if you'd like to follow our work i'm on patreon it's a great way to support this project you can follow without contributing funds because i don't put anything behind the paywall and just follow what we're uh, posting what i'm posting i do share i'm going to start sharing a lot more content uh my business plan to a certain degree is laid out in the intro video on patreon it's a long it's basically linking up how mathematics is related to the core building block of everything that i'm doing right so if you like what you see patreon is a fantastic way to support this project twitch is where we're live streaming okay so if you want to follow this chat live twitch is where you want to be at okay i am announcing these things on twitter gaps minds vk lo and um, gap thank you very much for the subscribe uh, was what was us uh, appreciate it and if you want to support this work for sure subscribing following through twitch is a fantastic way to do it as well you can follow through uh, twitter gavs minds vk and lo as well that's where we announce everything we are uploading these to youtube and bitshoot right now we will introduce <laughs> thanks was big smiles lots of love uh we are uploading to these two bit shoot and youtube right now okay and make sure your healthcare systems are not uh, under stress that they're able to take care of everybody okay uh that's the name of the game if you're lucky enough to be living in a place where the wave hasn't hit hit you too hard or your or this first wave anyway okay aside from that gang thank you for being here fantastic conversations mods thank you for taking care of business okay i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm not gonna go through the chat there's a few favorite chat coming up but we're gonna jump in gang thank you everybody okay and i'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it okay bye for now